Well, we're digging deeper and deeper as we go, uh, getting a little more well, different kind of problems that you're going to encounter. You need to know how to do them when you see them. But you set them up the same way every time, no matter what. The order, we have some calf legs, 0.75 grams to be given PO by mouth orally every six hours. We'll write the order down, 0 0.75. 5 grams. Next job. Put it over 1 to make it a fraction. Next thing. By the way, if you haven't watched the previous videos, you won't know what I'm talking about. Watch the other ones in order. I then multiply by a second fraction, which will be my dosage strength. I've got 250 milligrams in every capsule, in every one capsule. Now remember, once it's set up, the next thing you ought to do is cancel out the words. But whoa, I can't cancel words because that's grams and that's milligrams. They aren't the same word. They aren't the same symbol. Oh no, what do I do? This will happen a lot. Now backing up, the ones we did before were always the same. That was milligrams, that's milligrams, they cancel out. But this is grams, and that's milligrams. You cannot cancel. In this case, <clears throat> you must convert one of these into the other form, or vice versa. I've either got to convert 0 0.75 grams into how many milligrams that is, or I've got to convert 250 milligrams into grams. I've got to make this the same thing as this or make this the same thing as this. Well, <clears throat> I'll discuss why in a second. Best thing I think is let's convert 0.75 grams into how many milligrams this is. Now we're going way back. Remember, converting within the metric system. You have grams. Now the way I taught this, the really simple way, you have grams. Where's milligrams? It's over there. How many places over there? Three. So to convert grams into milligrams, all you do is you move the decimal three places to the right. Now, if you hadn't watched my videos on how to do that, you're really lost. If you did watch my videos and you paid attention, you know what I'm talking about. So I merely take, let's show you here, 0 0.75, I move the dot, the decimal point three places to the right. That becomes like that's one, that's two, that's three. I put a zero there to take up the space and dot ends up right there. So I look, the real simple thing is just scratch this out and say that becomes 750 milligrams. That's the same thing. 0 0.75 grams is 750 milligrams. Now I've got milligrams up here. I've got milligrams down here, so this milligrams on the top cancels that milligrams on the bottom. And what's my math? You've been doing enough of these already. I have two non-one numbers. One's on top, one's on the bottom. I take this, I divide it by this. You take 750 divided by 250, and the answer is three. The answer is three what? Three capsules. I give three capsules. Something else I discussed that it, trust me, it's, it makes it quicker and it's making you less prone to making a mistake, the canceling zero thing. I've got a zero in my number here. I've got a zero here. So this zero can merely cancel out this zero because that's on the top, that's on the bottom. Now it's smaller, simpler numbers. That's 75. Divided by 25, that still ends up <clears throat> is three. But here's the deal. Anytime these, this, and this are not the same units, the same symbols, you must convert one into the other one. Now, just so you'll hear me say this, I could have left this as 0 0.75 grams. You know, leave that alone. I could have converted this into how many grams that is. Well, I could have. I could have. Hey, to convert milligrams into grams, I move the decimal back three places, and that becomes 0 0.25. Still, I think since this one had a decimal in it, 
you move a decimal to the right, there are no more decimals in the, in the number. I think it's just handier to do that way. It doesn't matter. As long as you convert one into the other form, that gets the job done. So in this case, I converted the grams into milligrams. Or you could have left that alone, convert the milligrams into grams. Either way, as long as those are the same units, the same symbols, you can cancel and you're good to go. Let's see another one along the same lines. Which line? I don't know. That... Okay, there's the cytotech. I think I misspelled it. Cytotech. Anyway, I misspelled the name of the drug. Uh oh Don't let this happen in real life. This brings us up to a good point. I could have said <coughs> I did this on purpose, but I just made a mistake. Let's say you're a nurse, and you get an order, and it says, oh, cyto. Hmm. I've got something called cytotech. Is there something called cytotex? I just don't know about it. Anytime you think there was a mistake made, what should you do? Don't just say, oh, they, the doctor must have meant cytotech. No, you better check. You check and make sure that's what the license prescriber meant because there may be something else and you're mistaken and boy, you're in real trouble. So that's the problem. Some of these drug names are real similar to each other and if that's the case, then somebody like you are in real trouble because you gave your patient the wrong amount and your patient's in worse trouble because he got the wrong amount and you killed your patient or did something really bad or worse. So I, that's my mistake, but I'm so embarrassed. The thing is, if I make a mistake, I just look dumb and I get over it. And you're okay, I make a joke. <laughs> if you're a nurse and you make a mistake, uh-oh, that's bad. So this does bring up a very important point. If something looks wrong, you question that. Don't just go with it and assume it some way because you don't need to make any mistakes. If I'm your patient, absolutely, positively, don't make any mistakes on me, please. Okay, I'm gonna give some cytotech. I'm gonna give 0 0.2 milligrams. By mouth, what does QID mean? Four times a day. Okay, so the main thing is, for doing the math, all I have to know is I'm going to give 0 0.2 milligrams. 0 0.2 milligrams. Put it over 1. You got the pattern down by now? Yeah. I now multiply by another fraction, which, of course, is my dosage strength. I've got some, one, ooh, what does that say? Some 100 microgram tablets. Every tablet has 100 micrograms. Well, write it down. Get going from bottom to top. Do this. Get in the habit of this. I've got 100 micrograms in every one tablet. And put the number one there. Just don't just say tab. Put in it's each, each one tablet has this. But just like the one above it, those aren't the same units. They're not the same symbols. This is milligrams. And that's micrograms. So I can't cancel. I can't do my math yet. I can't divide. Uh -uh. So I must convert one of those into the other form. I could, if I wanted to, convert these 100 micrograms into how many milligrams that is. I could do that. Or I could convert this milligrams into micrograms. Let's do that, okay? Does it matter? It doesn't matter. You do one or the other. Of course, not both. Do one or the other. Let's convert 0 0.2 milligrams and see how many micrograms that is. Again, converting metric to metric. You have milligrams here. Micrograms is three out to the right. So to convert milligrams to micrograms, I move my decimal three decimal places that away. So it goes one, two, three. I put zeros there to take up the space. Dot ends up right there. So that number is 200. 200 micrograms. So this number disappeared and miraculously became the number 200 micrograms. So I'm going to give my patient 200 micrograms. I've got 100 micrograms in every tablet. So what do I do next? Cancel. Now I, now I can cancel the words. That micrograms cancels this micrograms. And what about the math? 
I've got two numbers that are not the number one. I've got 200, that's 100. I take 200 divided by 100, and I'm not even gonna insult your intelligence by getting out my calculator. Plus, I look stupid, I don't need it. 200 divided by 100 is two. Answer is, I give two tablets. What about those them, them, their zeros, huh? Let's talk about them, their zeros. There are two zeros up here, two zeros down here. I can cancel these two zeros. We'll cancel out these two zeros. What's left? Two. I mean, there's just one non-one number. It's up here. The answer is two. That's easier. Or if you want to do it the hard way, say two divided by one. The answer is two tabs. Well, we got lots more still. There's, believe it or not, there's still all kinds of other stuff to talk about. You're thinking, Mr. Dudley, I've gone on for hours and hours, and I'm sick and tired of this, sick and tired of you. I know, I'm sick and tired of you too. So, okay, more to go. <laughs>